Welcome back to another GM Golf video. In today's video, Grant and I are giving you guys a full look into one of the most exclusive and nicest courses in all of Florida. Let's get into the video. Guys, before we go on with the rest of today's video, I'd like to announce that it's actually sponsored by Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. The personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings all in one place. A huge benefit with Truebill for me is they, they can safely and securely identify unwanted charges and unwanted subscriptions for you and then cancel them for you right there in the app with just a tap of a button. I don't know about you guys, but it sucks at the end of the month when you see that reoccurring charge for a subscription that you don't even want. And Truebill helps with that. Simply by uploading a photo and tapping a button, Truebill can negotiate your bills for you from internet service bills to cell phone and cable bills. You can also set budgets that automatically monitor your spending by category, get friendly notifications when you've exceeded them, and visualize your spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. Also with Truebill, it's very easy to monitor your credit score. With complete access to your credit reports and history, Truebill alerts you of important changes that impact your credit score and offers you insights on ways to improve it. You can also set up a smart savings account. Choose the amount and the frequency and Truebill will automatically deposit savings into a smart savings account on the platform. You can withdraw at any time. If you guys want to try it for free, head over to truebill.com forward slash gmgolf or click the link at the top of the description. All right, guys, based off of the voiceover intro, you probably already know this, but Grant and I are currently in Jupiter, Florida, and we are going out to, I would say, one of the nicest golf courses in Florida that me and Grant have personally played, and maybe one of the nicest golf courses in all of Florida. I was scrolling through YouTube the other day, and I was seeing a lot of these videos of this guy doing like a full look into very nice golf courses that have a huge membership cost to even join. I was like, this is really cool. I kind of want to make one of these videos, and Grant and I kind of, Grant and I realized we had the opportunity to play Trump Jupiter, which once again is a very, very nice golf course and a very exclusive golf course. And it's very expensive to join. And once we got this opportunity, we hit up Chase and we were like, hey, we want to make this a very cinematic video. So heads up before you get into this video, guys, it's more of a cinematic video showcasing the course, not necessarily the score or how we're playing. I think we do actually end up keeping score for the holes that we play on the course. But yeah, it's more of a just kind of a full look at the course. And also shout out to Mr. Short Game. He's the one who I have kind of like seen seen on YouTube doing these videos. A look into what a $300,000 membership costs, for example. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Obviously, based off the title, this is a very expensive uh, membership to even join this course. We heard multiple numbers of how much it actually costs. I heard like, 200, 250, 300. I heard they kind of dropped the prices once COVID hit and stuff like that. We're gonna guesstimate this to be like a $250,000 membership just to join uh, this golf course. I'm not 100% sure if that's like the exact number, but those are just based off of numbers that we've heard. So yeah, let's get into this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like if you've been enjoying the recent content. All the support on the channel has been absolutely unreal, guys. Uh, we are on the road to a million subscribers, so any support on the channel goes a long way. Also, if you're wondering why I'm just like sitting in a hotel, it's currently Good Good Week. I'm filming this. Uh, after we already recorded this video kind of a long time ago. So yeah, let's get into it. Well, guys, today is a special day. Grant and I are doing something that we always enjoy whenever we're here in Jupiter, West Palm area, is uh, play Trump Jupiter. This is one of our favorite courses in Florida. It's super exclusive, super nice, and it's a very tough course to get on. And obviously we're pulling up to Trump Jupe right now. This is Bears Club, guys, right here. This is where like Rory, Dustin Johnson, Michael Jordan. This is where they all play, right yeah, here. Right over here to the right. That course right there. That, that so, is Bears Club. I mean, it's gonna be an unreal day. This is extremely exclusive. Yeah, shout out to my guy Jason for having us out today. first tee here. This is the first time that I've ever attempted to play the tips out here. This course is already such a challenge and today we're gonna we're gonna tip it out as far as we can and I've said this before but I think this is probably the hardest golf course that I've ever played. Also shout out to my guy Jason for having us out today. I don't know this is gonna be a challenge today we're just gonna play stroke play see what we can shoot. I played from the tips here probably two years ago it's the hardest golf course I've ever played so see what we can do.
That's right. Oh, what? I thought I was going left, if anything, but just right. I think it hit the cart path, which hopefully I can find it. That's solid. I hit that horrible. Wow. I went nowhere. The first thing you always notice, like when you pull up to a place like this, just how pure everything is. Like literally, it feels like there's not a blade of grass out of place. It's unreal. How far do you got, Grant? 160. This is prime position for Grant, left side of the fairway, 160 yards into the wind. Anytime I've played here, I've noticed that the wind is so hard to gauge because it feels like you're like down in a little bit of a swell on every hole. So it's like, I don't know. But once you get above the trees, the wind is blowing. See that valve? Is it good? Yeah. I think that's like a photo that's gonna be really close. Wait, it could have gone in the hole. <laughs> you have no clue. I love this grass. Well, my ball actually ended up being okay. I actually have a perfect angle, believe it or not. Over here in the pine straw and the leaves, 140 yards. I got the nine iron straight into the wind. Hopefully we can put one in there. Make birdie on this first hole. I shot I thought it was actually good but the thing about up here like around the greens is there's so many subtle undulations this pin location is nearly impossible on this first hole also just look at this look at the bunker that reminds me of like uh, St. Andrews or something with the lips perfectly groomed yeah but I'm short-sighted I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do here if I'm being honest it's almost impossible the greens here are super super fast this time of year impossible what can you do what can you do all right guys well i know one thing right here and that is that this puck goes right to left really hard i just gotta feed it up there and let it fall Now 12 feet, 15 feet for the par. I mean, honestly, the thing about these greens is there's really no imperfections. so if you miss putt it's either a misread or a bad putt so Let's go. Yeah. What a putt. Now I got some work here. Yeah, I mean, nice putt. <sighs> I tell hold you what, if that, if that missed the hole, that's like. That's what's crazy. That's down there. Right. Really. And I held my I'm not kidding, guys. If he missed the hole, he was looking at no, probably. Technically, if, if it rolled anywhere 10 feet by the hole. Wait, look at this. Yeah. It would still be rolling down here. Yeah. I mean, oh, it would have rolled down into the fairway. So, good thing you made it. This is quite the challenging second hole, guys. 578 yards playing, I would say, today every bit of 620 yards. And I'm not exaggerating that, it's straight into the wind, off the left too, so. You got water all the way down the left, hazard right, tight fairway from the tips. It's, it's, it's a yeah. brutal hole. Nice ball. Oh yeah. Good. Bye. Yeah. I played the cut off the water. That was nice. That was nice. Let's go. I feel it, like, dude. Florida just gets my bones and my body feeling good. Yeah. But it's the air. Something about it's it. It's different out here, folks. All right, guys. Well, I was going to lay up either way. Even if I bombed a drive, I mean, this hole's already 580 into the wind. So I got an 8-iron here. I got to get it up over this lip. When you have a lip like that, it's not really worth trying to get everything out of it. Just take your medicine, lay it up. Well, this is not the smart play. It's not the percentage play. It's not something you do in a tournament. But I have 280 into the wind. Water all up the left side, hazard right, and I'm, I'm going for it. Yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's got a bit hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's that. Yeah. Pushed it right. Yeah. Exactly. Wind yeah. exaggerated it, but I think I'm okay. Good swing. That's about as close as the longest putt you can have on the screen. Right, but honestly guys, two pars. I mean, if I can two putt that, two pars, to start the day would be great. All right, 54 yards. Guys, I'm actually in prime position. Great angle, attacking this pin. Kind of bailed out and got scared of the water, but it was a smart play. Back into the wind, 58 degree here.
All right, we have a long putt here, but it's not much break. Guys, yeah, this would be, I, I feel like any birdies today is kind of a steal, but if you are gonna make birdies, it's probably gonna be on the par fives, so. One under through two, guys. That birdie feels like kind of an eagle. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a steal. That's actually that's two pars to start. Carrots one under. I'm even. Really nice out here. I mean, not much wind today. It's usually really windy in South Florida, but today's a beautiful day. The course is probably the best I've seen. It's crazy. I'm used to playing those tees right there because I feel like mostly most of the members and people are like solid at golf play there, right? I mean, that's not a driver game. It's, it's, not, not, it's only 400 well, yards. I think too. it's hurting though, so it should be. A you have to go way right. Yeah, I'm going to. Like I'll driver. I'll just try and slot it. Okay. We're we're playing aggressive today, guys. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. You're, dude, you're striking it. I don't know why. It's just this humidity. It's got my swing feeling good. That's what I was saying. We played 50 degrees the other day. It was 50, but it felt probably like 40. But it was cold, man. My hands were numb. Nice ball. Nice. Real nice. This is probably like my fifth time playing here. And I'm just starting to learn you just gotta play it super smart. You don't wanna be ripping driver around here. I've ripped driver every hole and it's it's paid off so far. All right guys, 177 to the pin here, 164 to carry the bunker. I'm gonna go with a seven iron. Get over. Oh. We can get up and down though, we're good. All right guys, 130 yards, I got the 50 degree. I don't know if it's quite enough. I mean, you can't feel the wind, but I feel like I got to trust that it's into. Do you think it's 50 or is it P-Wedge? Cool. You don't want to go long, short's better. That's true. All right, that's what I was thinking. Sit. Keep it under the wind. I, I don't know. What a shot. Ooh. See if we can make that for the birdie. Let's go. This is a start. I'm pretty sure that's a tap in. I'm actually way closer than I thought I was. I thought I was going to be like six feet. I'm actually only like a foot. That's a couple birdies in a row. Two under through three. All right. All right, guys. Right on the left side here. Pin high. Kind of got a tough up and down. I'm going to have to hit a little nipper here. It's got to get some spin on it. Yeah, that had some juice on it. Let's go. I mean, shout out to Gary for, for being 200 par out through three holes. It's unreal, but hopefully we can make that for the par. Well, hopefully you make it. This is going to be the transition shot. And so if you miss it, you're going to kind of mess up the whole flow. That's still going to be the transition clip. <laughs> <laughs> on to hole four, which is a uh, par three, I believe. A very long par three from the tips. This course is uh, it's tough. So 200 yards here, playing like 230, honestly, straight into the wind. I got a four iron, and it's it's every bit of four iron. So see if we can put one on the green. Honestly, par in this hole is probably it feels like a birdie. They left it. Oh, it's going I'll last. be okay though. <laughs> It struck it very well. It honestly kind of just stayed where I was aiming. I was trying to play a cut shot and it just went straight, so we're all right. I chunked it. Not that good, but up and down. Just in the fairway grass, actually prime position to hopefully get this up and down for the par. Right to left chip here. Let's keep it going, guys. Let's see if we can make a par, keep it two under through four. Wow. Uh, whoa. I All thought right. it had some spin on it. Fortunately, it did not. Hopefully we can make that though. All right, that gave me a little bit of a lesson there. So, gotta really put some spin on this one. All right, down the hill, breaking a little bit to the right for the par. I think it's sliding a little more than I thought. Let's see if we can knock this in, guys. Let's clutch up. Come on. Woo! That's just two poor putts, guys. But All right, par four, hole number five, 457 from here. This is a very tough hole. I mean, just take a look real quick for the viewers at home. That's how tight it is. We're still hitting driver. 
we're gonna get in the full send here and hopefully make another birdie. Oh, great. That was a good swing. Too much fade. Well, I was going for the fade and just kind of pushed it. All right, guys, perfect position here. 159, gonna hit an eight iron. No. Not the place to miss, right? You can't, I'm telling you, you cannot miss it more than like a couple of yards offline and you're down a little down. So, I mean, I hit that great, but we should have a pretty simple up and down. All right, 150 yards here, guys. Got the nine iron in hand. I got some tree trouble, but I'm gonna try and play a little low cut and see if we can kind of finesse one up there, hopefully give ourselves a look at birdie. Harry. Yeah, I hit a root. Thankfully, I didn't break my wrist. Look at that, Chase. I was wondering why my club just stopped. I hit that solid, and I was thinking, there's no way nine is short, but unfortunately, just short in the bunker. Anyway, we're actually going to finish this video up on hole number six, because we want to film a Saturday match out here while we're down here. Um, so that's what we're going to do next, so stay tuned for that if it's not already on the channel. But yeah, like after this, we're going to go to the practice area and stuff for the end of the video and kind of show you guys the facility, the putting green. just kind of want to showcase the course today, but... Hopefully I can get this up and down for par to finish it strong. Oh. All right, we will take that, guys. Let's go. These bunkers, that sand is like, it's the perfect amount of sand. You guys know how like, you're at a course that either has like, not enough sand, super hard bunkers, or way too much sand. That was perfect, that felt so nice. Well, this might almost be impossible to get to stop, so I'm gonna go for a little something crazy here. I wanna do a little bit of a flop, kinda, but I'm just gonna nip it up to the left. Stay up. No. Coming back. That's so sick though. Alright. In for par. Alright guys. In for par there. Currently currently still one under going on to the last hole of this video. Wow. This is a good finishing hole guys. Let's see if we can make an eagle or a birdie. Something strong to finish. Let's go. Reach. It's probably like 300 yards, so I'm just gonna take a little left of these bunkers, hit it out there, and give myself a good wedge into this par five. Nice ball. Yeah, I don't know if this one's gettable. <laughs> I, no, I Long par five. 50, yeah. Into the but wind. Uh, all right, yeah, it's not reachable today. I thought it was, but it's straight into the wind, so I just got through wood, try and kind of lay up and uh, see how close I can get it to the green. Get over the bunker. That's spinny. Alright, Grant has 69 yards here, prime position, literally perfect yardage. I actually did carry the bunker and I'm like 30 yards short, so this is birdie time, let's go. Oh, go in, go in. Let's go. Pretty good, guys. We got an uphill putt for the bird. That was lower, Garrett. I like that how much lower. I, I like the way Grant penetrated that one. All right, 38 yards here, guys. Prime position to hopefully get up and down for birdie. That had so much spin. I love watching balls land on the green. It's so satisfying. Got this for about five feet for the birdie. Let's go. A little left to right here. See if we can make this birdie putt. Left it a little short there. Easy par. All right, for the birdie, to finish strong here in the stroke play video. Let's go. Oh, two, okay. two under through six. That's awesome. With uh, three birdies, that that's solid out here. That feels good. All right, so as you guys know, this course, so pure. I mean, everything about it. It's like absolute perfection right now, this time of year. To close out this video, we're gonna go to the practice facility. We're gonna we're gonna hit some wedge shots, hit some range balls, and uh, just kind of show you around the facility because that, that was really the goal of this video is to showcase this course. It's not that often that you get to come out to a course like this. For Grant and I especially, it's not that often that we get to play this nice of a golf course. So we just wanna, we wanna showcase that for you. Uh, we 
we just filmed a Saturday match, but we're back to the other video kind of showcasing the course. I will say, personally, this is one of my favorite holes in the course. It's the final hole, hole number 18 out here at uh, Trump Jupiter. It's got the American flag and the clubhouse in the background. It's just, it's beautiful. I mean, yeah. every tee shot, too, just looks so intimidating. This is uh, quite the tight hole, so I got driver in hand. I know we said we kind of finished the stroke play part of this video, but we're going to finish it on 18. Uh, seven holes for this video, but... That is prime. I've actually never played this hole well. So this is uh this is nice to actually hit the fairway. Nice ball. Thank you. We're right next to each other, Garrett. I got Garrett on that one. Alright guys. 175 here. I absolutely love this shot into the green. It's just so beautiful. Oh be good. Be good. Guys, I just, that might have been the best swing of the day, right there. Yeah. I don't know how, I actually thought it was like fine. And I looked up and I was like, well, who knows? It's in the water. It's not a great way to finish, but we're good. Well, geez, your luck could happen. I might make a comeback. <laughs> not the way we wanted to finish here, guys, but 54 in the door, 105. Let's see if we can hold out. Something crazy. Be an insane finish, you never know. Uphill putt at bogey. Here we go, just short of the green. Gotta putt at it though. Like I said, not the best way to finish, but you never know. A little left to right here up the hill for the bogey. It'd be a good bogey save. Ah. Finished with a double, not ideal. Yeah, even on the day. It's not bad, it's not great, especially how I was playing, but. All right, he said it snaps, so. Oh my gosh, it almost like came this way, yeah, straight I gotta sideways. That That's why I said it was a little snapperino. Oh my god. That's god. unreal. That was that was cool though. That was actually good speed for once. But guys, oh. wow. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed a little breakdown of this course. It's been unreal. Come back to the range, hit some more shots, get the swings dialed in. After a long day of golf, actually, we uh we played 12 holes today at where do we play again? Why do I keep uh, at Breakers Break West? Yeah. Breakers West. We came over here obviously, played almost all 18. We played 16 holes today out here, but uh it's been a long day. I honestly and, feel good though. I'm happy that yeah. it was overcast and rainy this morning because when it's like super hot out here, it drains you. Oh yeah, drain. for sure. But uh no, we wanted to showcase as well like the practice facility out here is pretty unreal. They have a nice little chipping area nice putting green the clubhouse is obviously beautiful i mean this whole place is it's a pretty cool setup and uh yeah. if if you have the privilege to have a membership out here that's yeah. that's, that's nice you know yeah. i'm jealous of whoever does have a membership out here but gonna hit a few balls and then uh we'll close out the video Hopefully you enjoyed that video. That's gonna close it out. You cannot beat these vibes. Like just being on a golf course with the sunset, this golf course in general, it's beautiful. Weather is perfect, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's it's a little bit of a different type of video, obviously. More or less just trying to showcase the course, chase it behind the camera, getting all the cinematic angles. So yeah, I know it's different, but hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stay tuned for more and let us know in the comments down below if you wanna see us do this at more courses and maybe do like 18 hole versions. I don't I know we only did like seven holes in this video, but it'd be cool to uh, go to like really sick courses and just play all 18 and show you guys what it's like to be out there because uh yeah I, I mean this course is really hard to get on it's a very exclusive course and anytime we have the opportunity to get on I want to be able to show you guys that because it is, it is an absolute treat but yeah once again hopefully you enjoyed if you did stay tuned for more content until next time guys peace out